make sure to check it out. But uh, I definitely think we're gonna have to bring the family back. I hope so. This is fucking amazing. This was amazing. Well, <laughs> guys, all good things, all good things are coming to to the end, to an end uh, eventually. Because I <laughs> have to queue up League of Legends now. <laughs> I had nice, great 40 minutes of amazing fun. I could be Luke from Outer Boys, but instead I am fucking Nemesis from Slovenia. I could be out there adventuring, IRL recording, sharing it. Instead I'm fucking in a room playing League of Legends. Jesus. Fucking depression. Wait, what did I pick? Ah, uh, we're gonna do some Lucian mid lane. Really? Lucian or Rihanna? What is this? Uh, LEC throwback over here? This matchup is a bit pain if you fall behind. Kinda need to win early game with this matchup. Alright. Would I go on a trip with the other boys if they were to invite you? Would I return from the trip? I guess we'll never know. Amos is just massively fucked up. Maybe I have to start either, unironically. I'm a little bit rusty. And toward. <clears throat> 29 armor. She went E. She went E. She was QE. Oh, Why did my team ping that Viego is behind me? Because now I played the lane really badly because I thought Viego is... Okay. Just gotta push. Just gonna base the pick. She can kill Zach on Pass. You can take worse meta champ and still win. Ooh, My name is died. Syndra and now she is in D tier. Should I still play it? No, I would stop the champion probably. No, no, no! Zach! Yes! No, yes! Okay, it's fine. Maybe the kill is not too bad, but she does have two kills now. There's no flash. Let's gank. I have a freeze. Zach, please come mid. Well, um, Alistar, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. We don't run into our weak sides and die. Great kill. Good job. That's what I'm looking for. You know, she has no flash. Very easy to gank mid lane, Zach. That's why I was pinging to gank mid. There we go. Okay. We can keep ganking her, she still has no flush. I'm gonna go Sweetness Boots. I like to play Sweetness Boots on Lucian these days. Sweetness Boots are extremely, extremely overpowered right now in League of Legends. If you actually look at a lot of champions win rates, most champions in League have highest win rate on Sweetness Boots. No joke. That's probably a kill to Zach. Oh, nice sweeper. He got a ward on auto attack. That is sick. I have to run bottom soon. Oh, I'm on my way. Um, hello, Oriana, we cannot do that. <laughs> what was she thinking? I guess I have to force him to ult away. It does take some of my HP, right? And now Rihanna is coming back. Uh, maybe we should look to gank mid. She plays Inspiration and a Don't, which means her flash is probably up, right? I think her flash might be up. But she doesn't have any vision. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good gank. Good gank. I think Zach will be fine. Nice. Burned her ult and flash. Now I can play 1v1 and get push again. 
Really, really good gank. I can look for a solo kill in 40 seconds. Since I get ult and I can just ult her down and she can't stop it. I love junglers that know exactly how to play. Like this Zac is camping the correct lane this game. Like he should be camping top or mid mostly this game. And he got me a huge lead mid lane already, which is beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's hard to walk up right now. I need base DP soon, I'm pretty close to Kraken. But I can still maybe look to solo kill her soon. The wave just needs to be in a better spot so I can only in her. Not gonna lie, that was terrible. Close your eyes, chat. That was horrible. Yeah, if the enemy bot would to keep overextending, I would TP behind them in exactly 15 seconds. But they're gonna base. Okay, should tip it. So the problem now is I have a massive, massive shutdown on me. And Lucian is really easy to kill when he has no flash. So because I wasted flash now, it's really easy for enemy jungler to just walk mid and kill me with a shockwave or whatever. So we gotta be, be careful. I definitely don't want to die right now. I think I'm gonna play as safe as possible. Not good, we got double shockwaves here. Um, lost so much HP. What? Alistair just... I think he rage quit it. Alright. We never bought zero times, so I go top or mid now, I don't care, plop. Ah, there we go, there we go. Flaming begins. Flaming begins. Alistar is trolling now, even though we have a hard winning mid and jungle. Best thing we can do is to just ignore everything Alistar is saying. And uh, I'm gonna only try to play with Zac. Which means if Zac goes top side, I go top side. If Zac goes bot side, I go bot side. Alistar is gonna be stealing plate gold here for no reason, when I could just be getting plate gold solo. There are Renata and Viegor coming mid now. I have to cart like that to guarantee the plate. And there's a plant. I didn't hit doubly. Double flash. Yeah, I talked about this earlier. When you don't have flash resolution, it's really easy to just gank you and kill you. Maybe I shouldn't have traded. I gave a master shot on now. This kind of makes Oriana be almost back in the game, to be honest. Uh, double Drake, our bot's really behind. Oh, game's looking really, really bad. I would TP, but I think fighting this is really bad. I'm gonna keep pushing bot because I know the fight is really, really bad. Someone is TPing. I think that's probably Oriana. Oh no, it's Kaisa. Well. Can I look for a solo kill? If she face checks me, I'm pretty sure I win. She's too close to the tower. I'm gonna wait till she goes hit the wave and then I go behind her. She just wasted W too. Shut down. Shut down. There we go. I have sweetness boots, so even if she tried to run, I would probably catch her. Not bad. We need comebacks like this. Arkan Slayer obviously a really really strong item in duos in 1v1. It is very very bizarre and cringe for our Alistar to be blaming Zac when our Zac has been playing excellent and our Alistar has been playing the worst in our team. Probably in the whole game actually. The irony is, uh, you know, it's funny. I'm gonna take a base again and if I have to, uh, if I have to join the fight I'll TP. It's just important to spike on a full item right now. The fight's happening slightly too fast though, before I can channel TP. Oh, my TP doesn't even look to be that good. I mean, Arzak is really trying to smurf. Um... Uh, do we have to give Drake? 
Because it kinda does look like it. I can fish, I can hit him. Damn, the game is just looking really bad. They're one Jake to soul. It's just not good. They're probably walking topside, right? If you're enemy Viego, you're probably playing topside, so I think it's my cue to base her. So this Kaiser just either flipped it, that I'm not top anymore, or Viego is literally behind her. It's really weird that she went for a wave like that push. That's just wrong. If I'm top lane and she's alone, she dies. Um... Um... I don't know about that fight, that just looks like a doomed fight, if you ask me. I can't go in. Can enemy team barn? We're gonna try. And I need to try to stop it. Okay. I can't tank it for long. Don't go in, just stall. The barn is not taking a lot of damage. Um, you just suicided. Um, we went in too fast again. The barn is not dead yet. I can TP. I need to get something here. I'm gonna dash through, take the plant. Uh, we got every barn at least. Alistair just severely misplayed, went in at the wrong time, and then flames our team. Master players in league are so delusional. One minute for Jake, we need to reset and fight it. I don't particularly care about towers, so I'd rather still join with camps at this point. Alright, I get Navori and then um, we'll try to carry and if we can't carry then we try it. We tried our best in that case. Yeah, we need to group fast. They're literally gonna start it on spawn. Guys is gonna keep doubling, dodge, dodge the doubly. Oh fuck. Uh oh. Okay, I said dodge the doubly and I missed it. Come on, we need vision. What? Give vision, bro. Please steal it. I have a good flank. Okay, nice, we just saved the game. Alright, I'm gonna go bot and push the wave in. Is that a kill? Uh, that looks like a suicide. Oh no. We're going a bit too far at times. Alistair didn't reset in time and he didn't have any wars for Drake fight. And now he's again blaming our team. XDD. I'm going for this tower. I think I can do it. I have six grabs. Tower dies pretty fast. I think I'll go rapid far. Rapid far gives me mobility. QSS doesn't seem to be that big of a power spike this game. I'm trying to think like how do I want to play sideline right now. Because I'm kind of weak siding bot, but I'm level 16. Um, I had to choose a strong side, which I think would be top side. So I think I'm just gonna safely rotate to top side. And look maybe to catch someone on top wave. Let's see though. It's a bit risky to play like this because if they watch the stream, they'll know where I am. Ah, oh, sucks, sucks, sucks. I'm wondering what I can do differently because we have no pressure anywhere on the map. Um, I don't know, maybe the play is to... It's hard to say what the play here is. I think my, my teammate should have been top here, most likely. Okay, that's a good catch. Vega is flash on me. It's still fine. Like, it's still fine at the end of the day. I give a shutdown, which kind of sucks, yeah, but... At least my teammates now are winning. The problem is, like, I would normally not greet for that, but I really needed the gold for rapid fire, because I don't want to summon my Dornblade. Sunning Dornblade is just not worth it. And now I'm gonna play more conservative, I think. Because I'm trying to make the plays for my team, but sometimes it's hard to make a play if you're outnumbered. 
Actually, probably Oriana didn't flash. I'm not sure why I think Oriana flash. Okay, that's huge. That's free barn. I don't even have to walk there. It should be free. Alright, group for Jargon. Go, go. We're again late for the Jargon. Like, Viego is that. We should be starting it on spawn. This is really, really wrong by my team. I think we should rush it down because we know Viego is still that. He's not gonna be in time. Can we chase this? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. What's important is we got the Drake, so we don't give them soul. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That looks good. What? Alistar? I got it. I think too much. Alistar! Bro, don't push him into me! Okay, Zack didn't die at least. I'm gonna push mid. Uh, I'm just gonna do elixir. Do I need to go here? I think I do, they're both low. Yeah, I need to, I need to, I need to. Alistar voted surrender. <laughs> Mode her down. Um, what is my last item? I don't think I need last whisper. I think it's uh, maybe shield bow. It gives me lifesteal and some survivability, which is what I need. Wow. Oh no. Oh no! Okay! We're gonna take plant and stay. I can also get the rat soon and heal up. I think, like, I can still assist the fight with Culling in case I need. Yeah, now we need to go for Ant because Rihanna died. Maybe I just quickly take rat buff, honestly. Just in case, just, just to be safe with HP. This way my teammates also get rat. I can do it fast. There we go. I did it pretty fast. I'm a bit late for this wave, but we can still play on next wave, so I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not sure if taking red is the correct play, but I did it just in case. Alright. And this is how you carry a toxic, delusional Alistair player. There we go. Basically, the problem with Lucian is that he's a very glass cannon champion, so I'm trying to kind of fix that with playing Resolve and double scaling, so then you're kind of feel tanky. So you don't get one shot by one rotation of every champion, then you can kill them really fast, because like you have a lot of damage from your items. So you don't need to have all the damage in your runes either, in my opinion. Goddamn, Alistar, you made me... He needs to be reported, come on. And honestly, they should give him a couple of days off of this game. This is... He played really, really bad, and he kept blaming everyone as unacceptable.